Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today I want to talk to you about a newly released product from H2 Saddles, and that is the Triad Bridge system. It's been uh, over a month ago since Heath, the owner of H2 Saddles, reached out to me and asked me if I'd be willing to test uh, a new product that he was getting ready to release, and I said, absolutely anything I can do to further or help the industry. And so a few days later, this triad bridge showed up at my, my door and I have been testing it and experimenting with it ever since. And so as the name indicates, tri being three, when you get this bridge system, there will be three components. The first two components are continuous loops of am steel that will be attached to the hip loops of your saddle in the form of a Prusik knot. And then the third will be the bridge itself, which is a quarter inch am steel. Let me get just a little closer and you'll get a close up of what that looks like. This is the continuous loop of am steel that will be attached to the hip loops of your saddle. You have two of those and then of course you have the bridge itself which is quarter inch am steel. On the end of each of the bridge you have these stopper knots um, for extra security and they are taped well at the end to prevent any fraying. Now the thing I really like about this bridge system, matter of fact, the top four things that I like about this bridge system is, one, it is ultra lightweight. All three components and the taped ends come in at 1.75 ounces. And so it's ultra lightweight. You don't know it's there. Uh, not only is it ultra lightweight, but since it's made of am steel, uh, it has a strength a breaking strength that we have all come to love of Amsteel products of 7,700 pounds. 7,700 pound breaking strength for the quarter inch Amsteel bridge and then the Prusik knots. Each of these strands have a 5,500 pound breaking strength as well. And so ultra lightweight, super strong, and then one of my favorite features is it's 100% universal. So this triad bridge system can be placed on any saddle. You don't have to have H2 saddles. Uh, you can put it on a, a tethered mantis. You can put it on a kelstrel kite, a flex. Uh, any saddle out there, you can uh, install this bridge system on it. And then fourthly, it is 100% what I call infinity adjustment. Uh, in other words, the length of this bridge, you can adjust it anywhere you want the entire length of the bridge. This bridge is good from five inches all the way up to 34 inches. And so it, it's 100% adjustable. And I'll, I'll step a little closer and I'll show you how it adjusts not only on the bridge, but on the hip loops as well. And so uh, the, the last thing that I'd point out is it's very cost uh, e efficient. It, it's only $25 and, and it ships within the two to five day mark right now depending on how uh, busy the season is that might increase or decrease and so those are the top five things it's ultra lightweight it's super strong it's 100 percent universal it has uh, infinity adjustments that can be made for uh, for your comfort and your style of hunting and then lastly it's very cost efficient uh, a couple of the benefits of being 100% adjustable or this infinity adjustment is if I put this saddle on at the truck which I usually do I can take this bridge and I can I can basically cinch those Prusik knots all the way up on the bridge to where they're touching and then I let, let the rest of the bridge hang and so you can walk in and actually it actually acts as a belt because you can feel that suck in and your hip loops now uh, suck in as a belt and so when you get to the tree I'll show you how this adjusts when you get to the tree and uh, you're, you, you're climbing up with your lineman's belt you get to the top you're ready you're ready to you know get the tree tether and hook it in all you have to do is take your two fingers right at the tops of these knots and simply pull and you can pull it all the way out to the stopper knots or wherever you want and so check this out your hip loop adjustments because this is a Prusik knot it has infinity adjustments the entire length of the hip loops so let's say right now both of my hip loops are in the middle middle 
uh, or the the bridge system is in the middle of my hip loops and I want to change the pressure setting to perhaps the top all I would do is break my weight put my fingers at the bottom of the Prusik knot and slide it like that when I sit back down that Prusik knot's going to grab and it's now going to pull from the top of my saddle which would put a lot of hip pinch in there or a lot of waist pressure if I want a lot of pressure to come from the bottom of it all I'd have to do is take my fingers the top of the Prusik knot and simply slide it all the way down to the bottom when I sit that's going to grab and now the pressure has been changed from the top middle all the way down to the bottom and so anywhere you want within that hip loop you can set that Prusik knot and now your pressure setting changes and so that's really slick and then as far as adjustments on the bridge if I want them all the way in the middle and I want to start out at the tree I'll grab it and I'll simply pull both directions I can pull one direction I can pull from the left or the right but I'll pull it all the way out to the end I'll set my tree tether and as I can hook up here in just a moment a couple more close-up shots I can set my tree tether and then just say I want to I want to go from the relaxed position into a more vertical position all I have to do is break my weight reach down put my finger on the stopper knot my other finger on the bottom of that and simply slide if I want to stop right there it will hook in set the weight and this knot system that Heath is using will will grab that am still really nice I can do it with one side or I can adjust it from both sides grab it and it's set to show you another close-up fingers now I've talked to Heath about this several times as we have discussed it and he has tested this bridge system and this knot system he has tested it up to 2,000 pounds and I believe what he said was with the 4x4s that he had where he hung this bridge system from at about that 1600 to 2000 mark the am steel was literally cutting into the wood almost like it was sawing the wood and so this has been tested up to 2000 pounds and surely none of us are going to come close to that but let me let me throw this on real quick i'll give kind of a okay i'm going to start out I'm going to start out with it on the the bottom adjustment. So in other words, these components that are on my hip, hips, this continuous am steel that makes the Prusik knot, it's all the way down to the stopper knot. And so one thing, one thing I have come to like about H2 saddles is it is ultra comfortable. I mean, we I mentioned just briefly ago about changing the pressure settings. In all honesty, I've sat in this thing over six hours and I haven't had to change anything so because of the articulated butt seam it just it just fits perfectly and so it's super comfortable but let's say you're hanging for a while and now you want to go to the more vertical position all you have to do break your weight on your platform however you want to do that reach down grab the bottom knot slide it to where you want you can adjust both sides you can adjust one side it really don't matter slide it and now you're there it's it's simple it's easy break your weight push from the top I'll adjust that one break your weight again slide it all the way down it, it, it really it really does not matter it's super super easy and another thing before I'm done here I'll point out to you that this this took me about two times uh, two maybe three times to try to figure out the knot system but once I figured out, I can install this or uninstall this in under a minute time. And so it's super easy to install and uninstall. And so one more close up, the triad bridge from H2.
there you go. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if you haven't already, get on the, the website, reach out to Heath from H2 Saddles and uh, he will do a great job at answering questions. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, good luck this year in your hunting endeavors.